China. This country is already pretty broken, but that hasn't stopped me from figuring out a strategy to break it even further. And it all starts with justifying on Austria. Alright, Hungary. The independence of the Hungarian people is very important to China. And I'll do whatever I can to the fuck I'm at war with the British. Okay, that's fine, probably. Demand Jing Jian Zhu. What do you mean the war isn't going my way? What do you mean I'm rapidly losing war score because I'm not controlling the objective? This is an outrage. China will never give up on Hungarian freedom. Never surrender. Rebels? More rebels? We mustn't give in. Even when the cards and da is are down, you must never give up on Hungarian freedom. Whoa! I have fallen to rebels. No! Who could have foreseen such a thing? Well, anyways. You can have it. Easy enough. All in a day's work, really. Now that I've lost all my puppets, I must reclaim them. Ah, my first reform. Research point bonus when conquering. That might come in handy. So here's the real game. When you uh, conquer stuff for research points, how many research points you get depends on the population of the country you're annexing. And what are the most populous places around? Well, 7 million, 14 million, 24 million. And I have cores on all of them so I can restore order for no infamy. Mongolia is a small one, and I just got 6,000 research points from that. Not bad. Russia just declared war on me. What for?
or Chana tube, you know what? You can have it. <laughs> it's like printing your own research points. Fritz just declared war on me. Christ. You know what, Russia? You can have Mongolia for now. No one fucking lives there anyways. Britain, you're still not getting shit. But Russia, you can piss off. But I'll be fucking back for it. Taiping Rebellion. Well, at least for this, this will give me the rest of the research points I need to westernize. And the Manchu Dominant. Does this mean I'll stop getting the fucking events? The goddamn anti-Manchu feeling events? I'm officially westernized. <laughs> and now Britain is very concerned. <laughs> ah. So it's been a while since the last clip. Been building a bit of an industry. Largest army. What you missed is Bulgaria exists now. There's two Italys. Egypt is sad. Africa's been scrambled. French Guiana is bigger than I remember it. And Mexico is smaller. Also, whatever the fuck this is. I figure now that I got the house in order, it's time to do a little bit of uh, expanding. Actually. Maybe a lot of expanding. China will grow larger. Well, here goes nothing. slaughter for both sides. Oh, 
Oh my god. Outrolled? Outrolled? Just roll better, lol? Precisely 100 brigades wiped. So here's the question. Since I have so many brigades, if I go over infamy, would anyone actually dare to cut me down the size? Seems like the answer to that question is no. No, they wouldn't. Ireland. This will be useful for later operations. Of course I'm gonna invade Tibet. What kind of half-assed China playthrough would it be if I didn't invade Tibet? Is it, uh, is it too late to make, a uh, a citizen's point reference or, or whatever the fuck it is in China. Your good boy points for being a good uh, citizen of the CCP. This is gonna be the end of this campaign. I could go on further if I wanted to. But honestly it's not super fun because it turns out 500 brigades is like actually just too much work. It's too much shit. And I'm like constantly behind in fucking research. China was not as fun as I thought it was gonna be. Even if it is pretty fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna play France next time. Um, subscribe or else... Uh, <laughs> China will come for you.